It's that time of year again, the 5th Annual Pensacola Sports Association High School All-Star Game, Saturday, December 13th at Football to Beach High School. Catch the future college football stars of tomorrow when the area's best senior high school players from Escambia County take on senior standouts from Okaloosa and Santa Rosa County. It's a battle of East versus West. After the game, watch it on Cox Channel 2 in Pensacola and Channel 6 in Football to Beach or available at Cox on Demand Free Zone. The 5th Annual Pensacola Sports Association High School All-Star Game, sponsored by Cox without Niceville High School on their side, who's competing in the 4A state championship tomorrow, Saturday the 19th. Here's Richburg running to the right. He's going to make it out to about the 41-yard line. Nice scramble by Richburg, and the West All-Stars pick up another first down. A yeah, nice 13-yard pickup there to see on the replay. It's been all Tate so far, Ben. It was at number 10 there for the West. Uh, it was Q Ford also from Tate as he put two. Was there any particular advice you were given uh, that was really stuck out in your mind? Uh, yeah, probably uh, from my uncle. Uh, he was a, a close friend of mine, and he was always the one who, you know, and I'd come back and complaining about practice or the game. You know, he'd give me a little slap on the back of the head, saying, you know, like you're out there, like you're playing hockey. You don't. Most kids don't have this opportunity, and most kids don't either have, you know, the skill set or the the work ethic or this that or the other to make it somewhere. And you know, and he would tell me that I do so. You know, every time I always thought that there was kind of like a bad day or that there was something not going right about the sport, you know, you just kind of remind me why I played it and why I loved it so much. So I guess it would just be, you know, if you like something, if you love something and it's your passion, like, you know, just go do it. I think no truer words were ever spoken. So 
on that note, uh, you work hard, pays off, and you might find yourself living on the beach, on the beach getting yeah. paid to play hockey. But of course, you get to play in front of the best fans in the SPHL. Talk about what those uh, Pensacola fans are like. Oh. Pelicans won it, but Kerasi had done it with a home run in the ninth at PJC. Maritime was being born, first baseman named Tindorn, and Pensacola had pro ball thanks to Quentin Rashid. Talking baseball, Mendoza and a spot. We're talking baseball. Well, Stoop was a reading, and Courage was a beaning, and Tony Pierce was striking out the side. Family entertainment for one and all. We're talking baseball. It's Pelicans baseball in town. We're talking baseball. It's a wonderful day. Hello and welcome to the Pensacola Pelicans Coaches Show here on Cox. I'm your host, Jason Libert. As you can see, we have plenty of future Pelicans here out here practicing with the team. We'll get into that a little bit later as the Chevy U Sports Clinic is out here right now at Pelican Park. We'll also be talking with Pelicans field manager, Talmadge Daneri. It's hard to believe the first half of the season is already gone. We'll be talking about some of the highs and lows so far through the season, some key players, and some keys to success for the second half of the season. We'll also be speaking with Community Relations Director Kerry Smith as we talk about the upcoming July schedule, promotions, the big reading challenge initiative that we've got going on where one school could win $10,000 from the Pensacola Pelicans. Stay right there. We'll be back with the Pelicans Coaches Show here on Cox. We're talking baseball. 